Hello, welcome to the Apex Networks training for the RMS system. This is part of our online training program developed by Apex Networks to assist you in getting the very most from your software. This short video will cover Fleet Manager Maintenance. We recommend you play this video on a separate device from that you are setting your system up on. This will allow you to pause, rewind and keep pace of your progress without having to switch screens. To set up Fleet Vehicle Maintenance Schedules, go to Setup in Fleet Manager and select Maintenance Categories. This is a list of the regular actions you are going to carry out on the vehicle as part of its routine maintenance. For PMIs or inspections, don't worry about some vehicles having cycles with different time spans. This time period will be covered later, as will things like LOLA, so just list the basic things that need to be done. MOT or Certificate of Roadworthiness. Service, and you can make two entries for A or B service if you wish. LOLA, PMI, inspection, voluntary brake, lights and smoke test. Tachograph, you can add anything else that you would like to add as a periodic test or check. Once you have all these listed, go back to Setup and select Maintenance Schedules. Here you can begin to create maintenance schedules for each type of vehicle. These work best if as simple as possible. For instance, if you have a category for vans, these can include not only service vans, but also 3.5 tonne beaver tails. The only variant that we recommend to your vans would be vans and vans with RDTs, as those with an RDT unit will have different inspection schedules and require a tachograph. Tilt and slides, or beds, regardless of their weight, can all be grouped together. We recommend the following schedules. Cars and 4x4s. Vans and beaver tails. Vans with RDT units. Tilt and slide beds. Accident units. Heavies. Plant. The plant section can encompass the equipment that doesn't fall into other categories, such as forklift, east track, etc. Once you have created a maintenance schedule, name it and add the new maintenance items by clicking on the button marked New Maintenance Item. Here you can select from the categories that you have already created, along with the description. You will have an option of how often this is to recur, in either a mileage interval, at a fixed mileage, or over a calendar period. If you need certain documents from the supplier, whoever is doing the work for you, add this information here and the system will ensure that it is done before payment can be authorised through the PO system. Once you have all the schedules set up with the categories in place, go into a vehicle file and on the second tab, Technical, apply the maintenance schedule for that vehicle. Once this is done, you will need to carry out and complete a maintenance item for the system to add this onto the fleet planner. You will only be able to pick from the maintenance schedule that has been applied to this vehicle. We recommend that you process the last inspection or service or any other item retrospectively to activate and start your fleet planner. You will then get the reminders sent to whoever you have set up in the auto email section of Fleet Manager. The Reminder Alert Days can be seen in the Setup section under Reminder Settings and can be adjusted to suit your company needs. Once a cost of the maintenance item has been added before completion, this will then add into the vehicle costs and reflect in your reporting. 